Okay, so for a few weeks now, I've had a bit of a problem with this, and the problem was, or is, that the Arduino can be powered through this cell here. So even if I pull this out, the Arduino can still be powered. I'll just show you. You see, the LED's still on, and the screen's still on. And we don't want that to happen. So what's actually happening is that this cell here is powering it. And the reason it's powering it is because we've actually got this wire here which is meant to test the voltage of the cell and we've got other ones here that test other voltages throughout the area or throughout the circuit. And what's happening is that they're going into the analog pins and the chip is using them to provide voltage in order to power the Arduino. And that's not what we want. And it's not what it's designed to do. So um, there's a couple of different ways of getting around this, but I think the easiest one is just to place resistors in the lines here. So you put a resistor in series with the actual um, measurement, if you like, that we're going to do. And um, there are, again, there's different ways of choosing the appropriate resistor, but essentially what we want is we want a resistor in between or within a range. We want the resistor to be low enough so that it doesn't mess up the reading uh, which we're going to get from here. Because if you add too high a resistor, um, it, it wouldn't let enough voltage through. Or it will, it will completely kill the reading uh, that we're trying to read into the Arduino. The voltage it reads in would be too low. And of course that would mess up our readings and mess up the whole project. Um, but if the resistance of the resistor is too low then it will let too much current come through and we'd still have the problem where the batch or the cell uh, can still power the Arduino. So we need a resistance um, within a range and sometimes people can say you know 10k or whatever and um, usually they'd be right but I like to play about with a range of different ones and choose my own and I'm guessing that I could get away with a 5k resistor. So I've got some 5k resistors here and I'm just going to give it a try. Okay, this is going to be really awkward. Um, so I'll take A0 and I'll put that in the ground rail. It's a bit of a weird thing to do. I'll take A1 and I'll put that into the plus rail. Again, it's a bit strange, I know. And I'll get this one, A2, and I'll put that over here somewhere. So I'll put it there. So now I'll get my first resistor. This is a 5k resistor. I'll put it in A0 to the ground rail. A0 to the ground rail. Of course it's not being used for ground. But it'll do for now. And then the next thing I want to do is go from A1 to the plus rail. So I'll get another resistor. A1 to the plus rail. And then finally we want to go from A2. Just gotta watch that they don't touch. And I want to go from A2 to this other um, uh, wire over here. So A2 to oh it's a bit long that one two to the other one. So there we go, I've just placed three resistors in the circuit in order to limit the amount of current that can uh, flow through these wires. So now what I need to do is, well in fact I think this battery is dead but let's reset it and just check that the voltage is looking about right. Yeah that seems about right, 3.1 um, so what I'll do, I'll just get a voltmeter and I'll just check that that voltage is about right. Okay. Oh, I wasn't quite quick enough. Right, 3.12. Okay, so this is saying 3.08, 
That's saying 3.02, uh, and it stopped, right, okay, yeah, um, that's accurate enough for me, and um, I'm happy. Now, the other test is, oh, so by the way, we've just confirmed there that it's not skewing the results. Um, the other test we need to do is that it can no longer power the Arduino with the resistors in place, so I'll disconnect this, and brilliant. Screen's gone off, the Arduino's gone off, you can't turn it on. So that's brilliant. I'll just zoom out and you can see the project. And I'll zoom in so you can see the specifics. And that's the project up to now.